Get ready to witness the ultimate fusion of Earth and beyond as Tesla and SpaceX are ready to build the future of transportation and exploration. Hey space enthusiasts, are you ready for something wild? Two of the biggest names in innovation, Tesla and SpaceX, are teaming up on a project that will blow your mind. Buckle up, because we're about to explore a car unlike any other. One that combines Tesla's electric power with SpaceX's space age tech. This isn't your average ride, it's the future of driving, and maybe even space travel. Hold on tight as we peel back the layers on this super secret project and reveal the incredible next generation roadster. We'll find out how it will change the way we cruise down the road and maybe even how we explore the cosmos. So get comfy and prepare to be amazed. But before starting the video, if you are new to our channel, do subscribe to it and also press the bell icon so you will never miss any updates in the future. Let's dive into the video. According to Elon Musk, Tesla and SpaceX are collaborating to create a next-generation electric roadster. The collaboration aims to bring together the world's leading rocket scientists and advanced electric vehicles. SpaceX engineers have already seen design mingling between the two companies, with the SpaceX Starship rocket using battery technology from Tesla and the same electric motor from the Model 3. Both vehicles use 300 series stainless steel for high-strength body materials. SpaceX's aerodynamics research has been transferred to Tesla, allowing them to continue producing aerodynamic production vehicles. Tesla's battery pack design has been improved to handle high temperatures, resulting in higher performance and faster charging times. The navigation systems on SpaceX vehicles dock with the International Space Station, while Tesla vehicles can drive themselves through urban environments with minimal human oversight. The SpaceX Starlink satellite constellation offers high bandwidth communication from the ground to low Earth orbit, while Tesla has the most connected vehicles on the market. The Falcon 9 is the most frequently flown orbital rocket in the world, capable of being launched into space, landing and repeating the process at least 20 times. SpaceX uses a special alloy of lithium and aluminum to construct the booster sidewalls combining weight and strength. Lithium is one of the lightest elements in the known universe, making it lighter than aluminum. It also has one of the highest strength to weight ratios allowing for less use of it. However, this alloy is expensive to make and difficult to fabricate, requiring a special process called friction stir welding. Tesla could use this alloy in their electric cars to create ultra-thin outer body panels and replace inner structural components with lighter lithium aluminum. The Falcon 9 also uses solid titanium grid fins, a heavier metal with a higher strength rating and resistance to corrosion. Although titanium is more expensive than aluminum, it could be a cost-effective solution for rockets that need to survive re-entry from outer space. Now let's discuss fitting rocket motors in automobiles. It's clear that Elon Musk is not the original inventor of this concept. Since its debut in the late 1960s, drag cars propelled by hydrogen peroxide rockets have achieved quarter-mile times of less than 4 seconds at speeds close to 400 miles per hour. Although rocket vehicles are quick, most American racetracks have outlawed them due to their extreme hazard. Despite this, they are still well-liked in various European regions. Therefore, Tesla faces two significant obstacles to overcome before they can create a rocket car that even stands a chance of being driven on American roads. Both safety and practicality are requirements. Elon does have a few options when it comes to SpaceX rocket engines, the majority of which are utterly ridiculous. But let's play about for a bit. The Starship, the biggest and most potent rocket in the world, is propelled by a Raptor engine. Despite having the highest power-to-weight ratio of any rocket engine, the Raptor is still a little too big to fit inside a car and continues to have an intense mid-flight failure rate. Thus, it was not the best option for the Roadster. Going back a level, we have the Merlin 1D. The SpaceX lineup's workhorse, which launches the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy, is this one. It makes sense to jam the Merlin, which is only slightly larger than a huge man, into a sports car's rear. But is it really practical? Of course, the fuel situation is just one of the numerous logistical challenges associated with a modern rocket engine. Using a dual propellant system, Merlin combines an oxidizer and combustible. All that's needed to keep the oxygen in a liquid state is cryogenic temperatures below minus 200 degrees centigrade, which would be difficult to maintain in an automobile. The combustible is just refined kerosene. The largest obstacle is undoubtedly the numerous reasons why installing a Merlin engine in a car would be extremely foolish. We now have the Draco thruster, which takes us into the realm of relative possibilities. This maneuvering thruster, which powers the SpaceX Dragon capsule's primary engine, enables the company to alter the vehicle's altitude and angle while it travels through low Earth orbit. 
It's a somewhat compact engine that fits comfortably in your hands and doesn't even need an igniter or a cryogenic fuel supply. Because the Draco is a hypergolic engine, it runs on two self-combusting propellants that ignite on their own when mixed. You could certainly set up a Roadster test using Draco thrusters, but it's doubtful since every time you use them, you would poison everyone downwind of the car. These propellants are liquid at at ambient temperature, which is nice, but they are also extremely toxic, which is bad. SpaceX's Starlink spacecraft features Hall Effect thrusters, which alter satellite orientation and altitude using a powerful electric engine. These thrusters use argon gas as fuel, which is non-toxic, colorless, odorless, and non-flammable. However, ion thrusters are not suitable for the Tesla Roadster due to their low power output and are only used in orbiting satellites, not conventional launch vehicles. They are an essential component of the maneuvering system that SpaceX uses on the Falcon 9 rocket. They are especially helpful during the flip maneuvers that occur after stage separation, which requires the booster to turn around and point its main engines in the opposite direction in order to start slowing down for re-entry. Gas thrusters are very basic devices that run on compressed nitrogen, which powers most of the atmosphere on Earth. All you need to do to start an engine is to release the compressed gas via the thruster nozzle using an electrically controlled valve. Elon Musk has revealed that a carbon-wrapped pressure vessel will replace the rear seats in the Roadster configuration. This technology, similar to SpaceX's COPVs used on the Falcon 9, will maintain fuel tank pressure. Tesla's rotor, already designed using carbon wrapping, will also be included in the new Roadster. Ten thrusters will assist with braking, cornering, and acceleration, allowing the Roadster to overcome traction constraints between the rubber and the road. Depressing the accelerator too much can cause a car to spin its tires faster than it is moving, wasting energy. High-performance Tesla vehicles like the Model S Plaid use torque vectoring and traction control systems to strike the ideal balance between traction and acceleration. Despite being one of the fastest street legal vehicles, even the Model S Plaid is squandering potential energy in this struggle. SpaceX's thrusters can benefit Tesla by increasing the car's speed to keep up with the tires, replacing the traction control system that applies brakes. This allows the car to counterbalance slipping tires during sharp turns. Anti-lock brakes can prevent skidding but have a limit. A well-timed release of compressed gas could help control the amount of kinetic energy exerted on the brakes, allowing the car to move forward. Essentially, the SpaceX Roadster uses a cold gas thruster to achieve the same goal whenever a traditional car would use an automated system like traction control, stability control, or anti-lock braking it just uses energy in the other direction. Elon may have been hinting at this when he said that the 0 to 60 acceleration will be the least fascinating phase. Essentially, the thrusters will accelerate the car to match the energy from the tires rather than trying to slow them down to match the momentum of the car. The idea is that Tesla and SpaceX will be able to create a system that will enable their Roadster to travel in any direction with the least amount of energy lost. This will basically mean that they will be able to travel from point A to point B as quickly as possible without actually defying the rules of physics. Elon is holding on to the Roadster version 3 paradox mode. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also share your thoughts in the comments section below. Do check out the video here lined up for you.